Hey Bratz, welcome back to the channel and today we've got another exciting unboxing. Onset has sent us one of their handmade metal Oculus Quest hands. Now this isn't just for an Oculus Quest, this works for other VR headsets too. This is specifically made at least with the new Oculus Touch controllers in mind. So we're going to open this thing up, check it out, see how the Oculus Quest fits in it, and then get back to you with thoughts. First, it actually comes in a decent package. It's got some print on it. Fortunately, the mailing labels kind of ripped it up. So what can you do? Always have a small, sharp unboxing knife handy. You don't want to hurt yourself in these. Done. Oh, we got more tape on the inside. Now look at this. It's a lightweight stand made of all metal these are made by hand i've seen some of their videos they hand grind them down and polish them up afterwards very industrial looking but in kind of a cool minimalistic way and then i just wanted to say thank you from omar facundo founder of onset vr each one of these represents a labor of love it starts with the belief that the vr community deserves the best in gear and accessories all display stands are made with materials and labor entirely sourced within the usa we want to hear your feedback on how you feel about your new display stand, so we'll be sending you an email asking for a review. We look forward to hearing from you, and thanks again for your purchase of the Onset VR display. Well, thank you, Onset, for sending me that. And they got, oh, this is kind of cool. So there's some foam padding that's like squared up in here to keep that safe and travel. So not that you really have to worry about it with this. This is going to be a pretty sturdy stand from the looks of it. So real simple, real minimalistic, and I guess it locks into place so that it, your headset's gonna stay up here securely. So we're gonna see how all that works here. We're gonna play with this thing and get it set up. So let's take a look at it. We got a little logo kind of pattern in the side there, so that's pretty cool. Do not jam this down in there the way that I am trying to do. I had to look at a picture of it to get a little better. It might be, might be a good idea to just send a card with it that kind of shows, but basically, you just set your headset on top and then you just put one of the Velcro straps around the side to lock that in place. And that's gonna be a lot sturdier. A really ambitious cat might be able to get this knocked down, but for the most part, if you're just setting this here and keeping that locked in place, you're gonna be fine to just keep it safe like that. But I think if there was one on the other side, it would definitely make for a bit more of a secure feeling to lock both sides in. But even as this stands now, I mean, you can shake it pretty decently and I'm not, there we go. <laughs> shake it this way, it's gonna come off. So it's pretty sturdy, but the Velcro there, it's not, this isn't gonna get you through a, a crazy earthquake or something, but for the most part, it's gonna be pretty solidly on there. It's if it starts to go this way that you get into the risk because then it might wanna tip the stand or fall off that way. So having this here is definitely important to keep that in. If it, or if it even went a little further and kind of reached up and then you wrapped it around, there's probably a way it could be a little more secure, but it's gonna stay decently. I don't think most stands are worried about keeping your headset crazy secure. I would say all of them basically rely on just gravity to hold them. So the fact that this has a strap that's gonna hold over it is a little more secure than most of the stands out there. But for the most part, you're gonna have your headset somewhere safe. Hopefully the stand's really not gonna have an issue. My goodness, leave the camera alone. <laughs> Well, here's a good test. Let's let the cat mess with it and see if she can knock it down. So see, an ambitious cat could get this knocked down. So another thing to think about because it is tall, it is a little top heavy. So as we just saw in that demonstration, an ambitious cat could knock this down. So if you like the stand you wanted, I would say find a permanent spot, put some 3M stick tape underneath it to hold the stand down for sure if you have a cat. And then your controllers just rest under here like that. And mine are gonna seem a little more secure than most because I have some Mysterian grips on there so that silicone is pushing so it's not plastic on metal, it's not wanting to slide around at all. If you have just your normal ones, it's gonna be a little more slippery than this, but pretty stable. I think as far as stands go, this one's super, super pretty. I think it's, and you can also put it anywhere. The thing about it, if you are using it for a quest that you might wanna think about, you're gonna to have to still have your charger cable nearby. So you're gonna need this on a stand somewhere next to where you keep your cable so you can still plug your quest in as you go. So that would be my only consideration there. Now, if you want one, onsetvr.com is currently the only place you're gonna be able to get it. You gotta shop directly from them. They did just submit this to Amazon not long ago. They submitted the product, so they should be showing up on Amazon here shortly. 
price is definitely something we should talk about. The stand is $60. So it is handmade, it is metal, it is very pretty. So that's definitely, if you like that, I would say the stand is worth 60, but that's not a cheap price for a VR stand. Uh, that's definitely one of the higher end prices I've seen. So if you love the aesthetic and the looks, it could definitely be worth it for you, but price is something to consider. Now, then the one last thing I would definitely say to think about with any VR headset and stand, you are leaving the back exposed and open. So make sure you're not gonna have this VR stand next to a window where the sunshine's gonna come in the back or even in a part of the room where there's like a mirror behind it and a window's gonna possibly sh have sun shine through the window, hit the mirror and still get into these lenses. I would just have a set of lens covers, especially if you have a Quest, it's so easy to set that down with you at somewhere. AMVR sent me this with one of their products. They're pretty liberal with them when you buy stuff from them, they just send you these. So flip straight in so that when you're done, they cover up the lenses. Now, one, one worry about these, it's got a cutout here because it's supposed to not activate your Quest, but even right now, it seems to be activating the quest with the lens. You have to really push it in there. Make sure that it's not leaving your quest turned on and just sitting. So there you have it. Onset VR display stand. A good looking stand for a premium price. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. If any of you have gotten anything from Onset, I know they had some cool Go stands as well. And people do like them. They keep selling out on Amazon. Uh, I know that they make them by hand. It takes time and it is a labor of love. So check them out if you haven't. Definitely let me know what you think and I will see you in another reality.